It's Umsum time. What if the year 2016 disappeared? Huh? Don't worry, I will find it. Oh, Umsum. To buy this T-shirt, visit Umsum.com. Firstly. Rio de Janeiro became the first South American city to host the Olympics in 2016. If 2016 disappeared, huh? the entire city may go on strike. Mm. Secondly, all female Ghostbusters movie was released in 2016. If 2016 disappeared, female huh? fans would be one sad lot. Mm. Thirdly, mobile game by the name Pokemon Go became extremely popular in 2016. If 2016 disappeared, huh? gaming enthusiasts would be one sad lot. Hmm. Fourthly, Switzerland unveiled world's longest rail tunnel in 2016. If 2016 disappeared, huh? travel enthusiasts would be one sad lot. Hmm. Lastly, NASA's Juno spacecraft entered orbit around Jupiter. If 2016 disappeared, space fans would be one sad lot. Hmm. What if we could breathe underwater? Then I won't need to use my submarine anymore. Oh, <laughs> um some. Firstly, we could just jump in and check out the amazing coral reefs. Mm. Secondly, the way we fish could change forever. Mm. No more need of those fishing rods. Just jump in and catch your fish. But on the flip side, we will suffer from <sighs> hypothermia if we start staying in water for a long time. Mm. Secondly, our eyes have not evolved to see underwater. Mm. Also, many water bodies are not clear enough for us to see far off objects. Mm. Thirdly, communication would be a huge problem. Talking underwater will not be easy. Mm. And our present electronic devices will not work efficiently underwater. Mm. Lastly, this might be very bad news for many species living underwater as ah. people will start building their homes underwater. Mm. What if we build a road around the world? Then I will name it the Umsum Highway. <laughs> wow, Umsum. Firstly, it will definitely find its name in the Guinness Book of World Records. Secondly, if it had a dedicated bike lane, huh? then the entire world will get fitter much mm. faster. Thirdly, it sounds like a good idea, but would prove to be extremely difficult to execute from geographical, financial, as well as political point of view. Fourthly, global trade will probably get a major boost. It will also prove to be a major engine of worldwide job creation. Fifthly, car companies would be one happy lot while airplane manufacturers might not be too excited about it. Lastly. If all the countries were to agree on this, then it would prove to be one of the biggest show of solidarity by humanity. What if humans were cold-blooded? Easy peasy, I am already cold-blooded. What? <laughs> oh, um some. Warm-blooded creatures like birds and mammals can maintain a body temperature which is higher than their environment. Oh. Mm. While cold-blooded animals like reptiles and fishes cannot regulate their internal oh. temperature, it actually varies based on external temperature. Huh? Mm. Now, if humans were cold-blooded, firstly, <laughs> sunbathing would become extremely popular because cold-blooded oh. animals need to first warm up in order to <laughs> remain active. Mm. Secondly, Tourism would take a big hit, as it is not easy for a cold-blooded animal to easily adjust to different climactic conditions oh. like a warm-blooded animal does. <laughs> Thirdly, restaurant industry will suffer as cold-blooded animals require much less food as well as energy. Mm. On the flip side, as less bacteria and viruses can survive in low temperatures, there will be less chance of infection to us. What if universe stopped expanding? Wait, is it going on a diet? Grow up, um some. Scientists believe that universe will stop expanding when the matter present inside it crosses a critical threshold. If the amount of matter present crosses the critical threshold, then the universe will first slow down and then finally stop. Hmm, now what? As per scientists, as matter has increased, so has gravity. 
So, gravity will start pulling everything inwards. The universe will now start contracting. It will start getting denser as well as hotter huh? as it keeps on contracting further. Eventually, it will collapse into singularity. Mm. Scientists also refer to this event as the Big Crunch, as in reverse of the Big Bang. Mm. As per one more research, dark energy is primarily responsible for the expanding universe. Huh? As not much is known about dark energy, it is difficult to predict its effect on a contracting universe. Mm. What if there is a pill to replace food? No ways! I love my sandwiches, burgers, and pizzas! <laughs> oh, um some. Firstly, foodies all around the world will be depressed huh? as taste will no longer play an important role anymore. <gasps> Secondly, different people have different body types. Also, immune systems vary from people to people. Creating one pill for all seems like a science fiction story. Thirdly, it might take a decade of studies to fully understand the implication of having just a pill instead of food. Long-term effects of the same cannot be predicted. Fourthly, our digestive juices will have a job at hand as they will need to extract all the necessary nutrients and minerals from the highly concentrated pill. Mm. Lastly, gulping up extra pills per day might increase our weight ah. beyond limit. Mm. On the flip side, <laughs> bodybuilders will be one happy lot. Mm. Why shouldn't we look at the sun? We shouldn't look at the sun because the moon will feel jealous! No! It is because the sun not only gives out a tremendous amount of light, but it also emits ultraviolet radiation. This radiation can harm our eyes and even make us blind. Nah, I don't believe you. Alright, I'll explain. When we look or stare at the sun for a long time, the emitted ultraviolet radiation burns the outermost layer of our eyes called cornea causing intense pain and inflammation. This condition is called photokeratitis. In addition to this, the radiation also damages the proteins present in the eye lens, giving us cataract and thus causing blurry vision. Moreover, the ultraviolet radiation even damages the light-sensitive cells in the retina which help us to see. This condition is called solar retinopathy. Solar retinopathy can lead to temporary or even permanent blindness. Why do we have different skin colors? It is because of a pigment called melanin and ultraviolet radiation of the sun. Confused? Obviously. Alright, I'll explain. Millions of years ago, people living near equator received a lot of sunlight and ultraviolet radiation. Now, ultraviolet radiation is actually absorbed by our skin to produce vitamin D. But excess radiation can damage our skin cells. Hence, the skin of these people produce more melanin to block the excess ultraviolet radiation. Thus, over time, these people and their succeeding generations adapted to have a higher level of melanin in their skin, making their skin darker. However, people living away from equator receive less sunlight and less ultraviolet radiation. Hence, in order to absorb sufficient ultraviolet radiation and produce the essential vitamin D, these people and their following generations adapted to have a lower level of melanin, thus making their skin lighter. Mm. Ah. Why honey doesn't spoil? Because honey is actually a magical potion. Nah. Honey doesn't spoil mainly because of osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water from a region of higher water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane to a region of lower water concentration. Now, the water content in honey is far less than the water content in organisms like bacteria and fungi. Hence, when such organisms try to enter honey, the water from their bodies moves out into the honey due to osmosis. As a result, they die, and thus, the honey doesn't spoil. In addition to this, some bees produce antibiotics within their bodies to protect themselves against certain bacteria. However, when bees make honey, some of these antibiotics get added to the honey. These antibiotics also prevent the growth of bacteria, thus preventing the honey from spoiling. <laughs> oh. Is gluten bad for you? Dude, gluten is bad for everybody. As usual, you are wrong. Huh? Gluten is a combination of proteins found in grains like wheat, barley, and rye. 
Gluten makes dough sticky and gives pasta its chewiness. Now, gluten is not usually harmful, but people having a digestive disorder called celiac disease should not consume gluten. But why? When people having celiac disease eat gluten, it triggers an autoimmune response. In this response, the immune cells attack our own body tissues, damaging the villi present in the small intestine, thus causing inflammation, diarrhea, fatigue, etc. In addition to this, damaged villi will not be able to absorb the required nutrients, thus causing weight loss, iron deficiency, etc. Thus, people suffering from celiac disease as well as those having gluten-related allergies should preferably have a gluten-free diet. Mm.